The process of configuring a Cisco switch can be simulated in Packet Tracer. I'm using Packet Tracer 6.2. The first thing I'll need to do is click on Switches, and then I'll click on the 2960 series switch and place it into the main window. Now I'll need to get a host computer. So I'll click on End Devices, and the first end device is a desktop PC. I'll click on that and then also click in the main window area. So now I have a PC and a switch. To simulate the initial configuration of a Cisco switch, you first need the proper cable. I'll click on the connections icon and the second connection over is the console cable. I'll click on the console cable, then on the desktop PC, choose the RS-232 serial port, click on it, then drag over to the 2960 switch, click on the switch, and then choose the console port. I now have a connection from the desktop PC to the 2960 series switch using a rollover or console cable. Once you have the serial cable running from your desktop PC to the switch console port, you'll need a terminal emulation program for the initial configuration of the Cisco switch. To do this, you click on the PC, click on the desktop tab, and these are your desktop applications. The terminal emulation program says terminal. If you click on it, you'll see the terminal configurations that you would need if you were using a real terminal emulation program like PuTTY or TerraTerm. You can see the bits per second, data bits, parity, stop bits, and flow control have already been configured for you. All you need to do is click OK. Now I have a terminal connection to the switch. I'll press Enter to get started and you can see that I have the switch command prompt available to me. This is how you will need to console into the switches and routers in Packet Tracer skills activities and Packet Tracer exams. For a quick alternative way of reaching a command line interface, you can click directly on the switches and routers, go to the CLI tab, and you can see that it also brings up a command line interface. Furthermore, you can increase the size of the font by going to Options, Preferences, Font, and changing the size of the CLI font. You can see that I've changed mine to 16 to make it easier to read for the video.